Hello and welcome back to Old World as Carthage. My name is Clough and you may notice that we are on a bit of a different place than where we last uh, left off. That is because I recorded a 30 minute episode like I have been doing and everything was going well. All of a sudden Audacity wouldn't save my um, audio from my microphone because that's what I use to edit the audio so that I can reduce background noise and things like that and it just would not save and then from looking at the actual timeline of the audio file the wavelet the waveform there was nothing that was recorded even though I can see on my other screen it is perfectly recording this as I saw previously and I hope that it continues to do so and will actually allow me to save so Unfortunately, we're going to have to go from a place that I've, um, you know, lost because I probably could revert. I should probably get into a habit of saving after every episode so that I have a backup. However, unfortunately, I, I don't really have the time to go back and um, replay that. Even if I did make a backup, unfortunately, I didn't. So I can't even do that if I wanted to. So apologies there, just as a brief overview. Um, we, I believe we founded the city of Leptis Magnus, that, um, is fine. We're still, uh, Adonibal over here, I believe he was the, um, leader at the start of last time as well. So, we, uh, I was basically explaining how, uh, at the same place in the last series with, um, Greece, we were doing much better. We were, we were in a much better place. We have more cities, we have not got into as many conflicts, you know, it's just a bright future ahead of us for this um, for this save. So, I'm I'm hoping that is still the case uh, as we go ahead here. And I again I apologise for the um, for the lost content there. And I'm just about to sneeze. Oh, no, I'm not. It's gone. That is the worst feeling in the world. Is it coming back? Oh, no. Okay, it's not coming back. Okay, the week before your coronation, Asia discovers us. Uh, you'll see it discovers a, a strange omen. One dead snake near the palace with three living baby snakes in its nest nearby. Startle, the interprets this to mean that you must hold the ceremony outside the capital in one of the family seats. So, which CT, CD do we choose? So I can't... Because that is the founding seat there, I guess. I would prefer to lose the eye in, if anything, because that is the one I have the biggest surplus of at the moment. All the families like me. I would gain proud. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to gain proud. I want to choose my own path. End of an era. Okay. I didn't... I did not realise. I should have realised by looking at the bottom left that <laughs> we... We had a different... <laughs> we had a different ruler, so... King Abon Ad Onibal, the Enlightened, has died. We met his passing with hushed voices and heavy hearts. Prepare the way for Queen Thub, I'm going to call her. Heir to the throne of Carthage. Long live Queen Thub. So, um, our third ruler. Vagabonds in several Babylonian cities are, uh, are requesting to be officially recognised by the state. Are we willing to share the concepts of citizenship with Babylon? This act may generate goodwill among people of both our nations. So, Babylonia, acquire citizenship. So they would like us more and they would get a tech. I wish we would get a similar reverse event where we can pay them for tech because it just seems like the AI are just getting it for barely anything really. Like, if I could get a free tech for 280 gold... That is such a good, like, price. I would 100% go for that. So, I'm going to again choose myself as the governor because um, we would be able to uh, get more civic, which is the main ones. That's charisma. Because I've, I don't think we need it, actually, as much because we do have the specialists that we want at the moment in Carthage. But, as we've learned, civic's very important to get in the... Um, to get in the civic in a uh, city producing as much as possible so that we can you know build those specialists that much quicker so it's time to choose a next ambition which i was so close to this one 
So capture four foreign cities, do not want, don't think I can do. Enact elites, so that is a law. Um, can I go over here and view this? What is elites? So, minus one year to building improvements. Elites, elder specialist plus four, minus four to urban specialist training time. I would probably go for that anyway when that does um, come up. So, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Or control six archives. Which would also not be a bad thing. I'm going to go and control some elites though, I think. So. I can build a courthouse here. Why can I build a courthouse? Is that... Oh, it was a tech, I think. Oh, that is going to improve civic so much. Okay. That is probably something I want in Utica and um, Lepsis Magna. Because I want to get the barrack specialists in there as quickly as possible to have them, excuse me, chaining out troops as quickly as possible. So, let me go and carry on with the road. I can, because of my leader, now build urban districts, which will allow me to build urban buildings. Um, other than that, I think that's all it really does. I don't think it's actually as beneficial as I first thought that that was. So, because you can build urban buildings adjacent to urban districts, so I suppose it's only really... Um, useful if you're running out of space for, um, you know, urban buildings, which I don't think we will at the moment. So let's, let's add a road there. We're very close to connecting that city up. Go and get that goody hut. Blossoming trees tower over the dusty ruins, providing ample shade. Their branches are heavy with ripe fruits and natural orchid stretches for miles. How will you see this excellent source of food? Take the fruit home, cut, chop down the trees... Or let our artist gaze on the scene for inspiration. I think it's probably a good idea to get the lumber because we are producing by far more food. Oh, we found the Assyrians. Our scouts encountered a party of Assyrian soldiers whipping a man bound by his wrists and ankles. The warrior accuses the man of inciting rebellion, of stalking members of the royal family, and attempting to infiltrate the treasury. However, the victim insists that he is innocent of the crimes. So, we can become cruel fight them for possession of the prisoner he I'm not I don't want to become cruel that's not the archetype I'm going for here so uh, man I'm falling behind so is that because of the cities so 10 from cities 11 from cities so they have five more cities than me man that is ridiculous <laughs> Excuse me. That is kind of ridiculous. At least we found the Assyrians. It's always good to meet your neighbours, I guess. They're not too close, which is good. I don't particularly want to be near them for them to attack me. Um, I think you've lost a general because of the um, somebody passing. I'm not going to put you a general yet. I don't think it's that imperative. You, I'm going to go ahead and heal. And you can go back to sentry mode, sentry mode. And that could end the turn for us, however. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. We do have 12 orders left. It may be worth... So, why can I only add that general? Is it because... They're part of different families, and you have to have... I don't know. I think it is, but that does limit us greatly. Yeah, I'm going to end the turn. We'll just um, sell the extra orders. So the Persians are upset with us. Why is that? Because they used to really like us. Lengthy peace, new trade routes. He has no effect. Workers in Utica have discovered a rich vein of ore at local mine, which would increase production of the local area. However, expanding the operation will require a significant investment. Set Lowry in mine. Or I could gain discipline. I'm going to set the Lowry in mine for 200 gold. I have the money to spend. And also, I'm assuming that is this mine here. Plus 15. That is a lot. 
six years. Okay, maybe not. After that, let's get the extra forum. Oh, is this a new governor? Okay. Since this city will probably help me with Hmm, but then again, he is a very good commander of those spearmen. Let's go for Elisa the Scientist, please, here. And uh, that should allow me to produce units there incredibly quickly, I believe. Right. I'm going to go ahead and build the barracks down here because I don't want to lose the mining spot up there. In fact, build a courthouse here, first of all. Let's go searching down the Danube. Another goody hut. We stumbled upon what looks like an old quarry. The equipment inside suggests an advanced knowledge of engineering. However, villagers nearby claim that furious spirits devour the miners, leaving the tunnels abandoned. So... We could gain 50 discontent, is that like, oh, in Utica, but we would gain a stone cutter. Or, yeah, well, uh, definitely, yeah, Utica, please. Uh, gain the stone cutter. That is highly beneficial, because that will increase the civic of this city. So we're going to stone cutter there. Yeah, that helps significantly. Okay. Yeah, Bostar the Minister, you can be the leader of these guys, considering um, I want the elephants to have a general on them. We gain, yes, we've controlled six urban improvements, which gets us more legitimacy. Always a good thing. Um, and act elites. So, let me have a look at the tech screen. What gives us... The ability to enact elites. Oh, so you see the bonus cards you receive from looking at these as well. I see. Elites, there we go. So put that as a priority so we can uh, make sure we take that when it comes up. Despite the truce, King Cassio Claudius the New claims that Carthaginian agitators are causing unrest in Rome. These rabble rousers seek to overthrow his rule and seize control. We have denied any involvement, but we in Carthage clean up our messes. I would gain a maceman. Um, I don't much care for Rome. I could probably afford the war. I could get those guys off of that city site. I mean, Rome's all the way down here, so... I'm going to spend the gold and avoid the conflict for now. I would like to go to war on my terms. More so than just reacting to an event. I mean, it may come up and I may react to an event another time. Who knows? But uh, for the time being, I'm not going to do that. So let's get the pasture on the go. You come down here and get this marble for the civic. Our stone is going to be out of this world, like our production for stone, I mean. Is there hills? Artisans? Adjacent mines? But there's no hills, so I'd rather just produce the mines on the hills. Like here. This would be an unbelievable mine location, would it not? Plus ten. Adjacent mines, artisans, hills. Yeah. I need more lumber still. I'm not producing as much lumber as I would like. I keep on hitting my microphone as well when I'm itching myself. So I apologise if that's coming through. I'm actually just going to go straight ahead to war with the Vandals. Just because they'll probably offer me a truce soon. Extra legitimacy is just a little bit better. But there's no Vandals near me so I don't really have to worry about them coming and getting me. <laughs> so um, I'm happy with that. Right. 
Let's go ahead straight and we get the focus. Right, and move on to next tin. So, what's... Oh, okay, yes. We can... Ooh, so we would... All cities gain archive. Is that a project? Plus two. Minus 25% train time for infantry. Can hurry production with population. Oosh, I don't really want to do that. Plus 20 per war. No, I'd much prefer to get a, the professional army. I think that was far outweigh the other one. In regards to uh, our situation, so go ahead over here for me, please, and produce a garrison for the extra orders and um, eventually the governor. I'm gonna head this way to see um, if this there is like sort of a connection or how big the sea is here. Um, actually wood that's needed for that okay um, okay right let's uh sentry up here hmm got 13 orders and nothing to do with them Carthago is producing another settler I could probably do with another worker if I'm honest it's been a much quieter game than I expected maybe that's because I've built up my I've given birth to a daughter named Dido. Is that my heir? Oh, get out of here. I don't want you. I want Dido to be my heir. Where are we? Where's the... Here we go. So we can see the royal succession. So... So here we are queen. And... <laughs> can like I take? Can I assassinate him <laughs> or imprison him? Oh my god! I want to uh, want to imprison him, but I need a chancellor. <laughs> but I need. Uh, mm, Nah, just leave it. Let's not mess around with anything like that for the, for the time being. Um, so let's go ahead and explore here with our trusty scouts. And there's nothing left for anybody to do. Everyone is literally. I don't like the look of that because that's on fire, and that's probably being killed by somebody. I'm gonna send this guy. Oh, barbarians. Okay. Well, let's move all of my troops over here. Up. Don't think I'll need any more than that. I think that will be plenty going up to take out the Danes there. Send it in. Right, I don't like these Babylonian troops that are just hanging about up here either. Roman troops even. That does not... Is that a Roman... Is that a Roman city? How do I see? Yeah, but is that... I don't understand. Is that a Roman or a Babylonian city? I think it's Babylonian, but how can I tell? It doesn't say. It says there, Babylonian. I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Um. Let's go ahead and... I know I do want to eventually have this producing as many units as I possibly can. However, I still need high lumber uh, production. So I want these uh, forests near the river to increase their production. So let's do that. You... Sure, go there. Doesn't matter if he gets attacked. Because I don't think he will be able to be killed. 
So we've got a settler in Carthage. Let's go for the forum. Strong culture here. And then let's go for the worker. So down here. Developing culturally. What do these provide us? Science and growth. Mm, nothing that I particularly want at the moment. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and do a festival. Right, and you can go over here. Uh, just over there. And let's end the year. Oh, Brundisium, they've just founded a city there. I saw that. Ishtar Gate as well. Right, you go there for me, please. Does that mean, yes, he moves? Oh, no, actually, don't do that, sorry. Go here. You go ahead and kill them, and you go and do some damage. That's a lot of damage! Um, You go back here and heal. Okay. So this is another production city for units, so I've got three of those that I can think of at the moment. Hmm. Let's get that festival on the go, since we do... Do we have a courthouse here? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Yes, that is, I, I think that's the word. That is the um, thing to do, sorry. Two feuding Danish warlords have arrived at a court seeking an impartial arbiter. They claim that violence will spill over into our lands if their conflict cannot be resolved. After explaining the intricacies of their dispute, they ask for a decision. I mean, I'm going to go to the war with the Danes anyway, so... That is uh, a decision I'm happy to make. Right, let's go ahead and move you as far as possible over this way. And why do you want me to build that there? Plus 20% because of artisans, because of the um, family. So, this city would be unbelievable at producing lumber. Can I produce lumber there or no? Let's have a look actually. Lumber? Lumber for a kingdom? No, not at all. So, redo that. Yeah, just just get these producing it. Because I do want to quite heavily um, go into lumber with at least one of my cities because everything else is producing quite a large amount comparatively. So, the lumber is something that's not doing amazingly well. So, courthouse there. Right, um, I really have not done any of the shrines, which is surprising, considering that normally I have a bunch of those done by now. Hmm. Culture needs to be strong for a ministry. Could have an amphitheater, which would help with that. Hmm. I'm going to produce a barracks. Hmm. I think that's the way to go forward with that. Uh, you can... Not attack, apparently. For some reason, I haven't moved you, I don't think. But anyway, doesn't matter. No, don't declare, declare one of the Assyrians, please. And thank you. Ooh, she's gone up a level. So please produce, uh, get extra charisma for me, please. Rome's declared war on me. 
Um, yeah, I'll go for that ambition. Let's go ahead and form this city. I'm not going to go for another Barkid city. I'm in fact considering they've only got one city. Urban specialists. Yeah, I could easily... I could turn this into a bit more of an urban city. Although the plus 25% from mines would be also... 20% sorry, from mines would also be very good. Oh, I didn't realise it told you. Or silver. So... Plus one from ore, plus two from silver. Yeah, that's not an insignificant amount, really. I don't know if that's what it. Oh no, that's not what it necessarily improves. But not that. That's not what you get from this city necessarily. Um, that's just the base production of the mines. So that's my fault for misreading that. Right. So, Didonian, they will be the leaders of the city. we get a slinger. Right, so I become compassionate. Scouts report increased activity along the nation's borders. We soon learn why. Queen Tabni Ishtar, the surveyor, the ruler of Babylon, has been assassinated by a member of her own council. Wow, this news has yet to reach the public, so we still have a chance to use it to our advantage. Energize your troops and generals. Honor her with a heartfelt speech. Keep the assassination a secret for now. Heartfelt speech, compassionate. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, and again, I'm going to produce another mine here. Yeah, well worth. Well worth. Okay. Let's move on these Danes. I've only just realised, it's not just a picture. It's not a 3D model, it's a picture. I didn't realise that before, Luke. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Interesting, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Cool. I never actually realised that at all. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. So, I mean, I'm going to move my spearman down here, just ready for when the Romans arrive. Right, so you firstly produce walls before anything else, then forum, then um, festival, please. You also produce walls, and then... Ah, just do that for now. Hipparegis. Festival. Oh yeah, because of the trample. I forgot that they can attack again if they do that. Okay. You and you can both come out of stasis. In fact, you can stay there. Two at each city should be enough to defend with at first. So I also have a chariot here. Two people here. An archer here. It's probably good to get somebody over here just in case this is where they attack. So I'm going to start moving my archer that way. I never finished the road, I just realised. At least I don't think I did. Oh no, I shouldn't be moving that whilst... Okay, that's a Roman unit moving through my territory. Cult of Flame. Scholars at the site of the Danes defeated... Uh, Danes defeat discover shrines, carvings and statues depicting the worship of fire. They believe these treasures are associated with the Cult of Flame. An ancient tribal religion still practiced by many of our subjects. The cult's icons are sacred to its followers, followers, so we should proceed with caution. Install them in the capital to show tolerance. So we would gain wisdom. And minus one discontent level in Carthago. Yes, please. That sounds absolutely dope. Keep my um, guy there to block anybody else settling because that's my city. And people can fight me for it, which they probably will. <laughs> so... Um, it may be worth, since they're quite close, getting these guys 
to come over here. And then I can move on them next turn with... Ooh. Actually, uh, both of you back up, please. Let's get this guy, actually. That's what you get for moving through my territory. Yeah, that guy's dead. Just uh, keep healing for me and end the year. Okay, so we have reached around about um, 30 minutes. So I will be uh, bringing this episode to an end here and we will carry on, um, you know, we'll carry on the war with Rome in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you want to see any more content from me. As I say, I'm going to try and put out a video a day and hit that like button if you have liked this video it does help quite a bit to grow the channel and leave any comments down below any advice questions or anything like that and i will definitely uh, be looking to answer those when i can so thank you for watching and peace